Good evening. The Erie Seawolves began their 2023 regular season campaign on Thursday night in Akron. Mike Fenner made the trip to Canal Park to provide these highlights, and we'll hear from him in a moment. Through the first five innings, it was a pitcher's duel. Seawolves starter Wilmer Flores would pitch four scoreless innings, striking out six batters on the night. Here, the Seawolves turn one of four double plays in the game as well. For Akron, Gavin Williams was just as brilliant. He went four and a third, striking out nine batters for the no decision. It was scoreless until the top of the sixth. Grant Witherspoon grounds into the 4-6-3 double play. However, Trey Cruz scores to give Erie a 1-0 lead. Same score in the top of the seventh. Base is loaded, and it's Cruz working the RBI walk. Corey Joyce trots home and scores, giving Seawolves a 2-0 lead. Later in the inning, base is still loaded. Colt Keith. With family and friends in the attendance, drives one to left, and that's good enough for a bases-clearing double. Gage Workman, Bryant Packard, and Cruz all score safely. Erie able to break it open at 5 to nothing, and the Howlers go on to win in its regular season opener. They shut out Akron 5 to nothing. Mike Fenner has more from Canal Park. Upwards of 30 friends and family were in attendance for nearby Zanesville, Ohio native Colt Keith. The Seawolves third baseman delivered for Erie in the seventh inning with a bases clearing double. His first double a hit as Erie would shut out the Rubber Ducks in Akron five to nothing. It was awesome to have those guys and uh, you know, they were in the, in the crowd watching me and I grew up with these guys and um, you know some buddies here, some cousins and some aunts and you know it's really cool just to be out here on this stage and, and for them to be able to watch me. That was awesome. I mean, seeing Cole be able to stay back on that and spit it in the left center gap, it was uh, cool and be able to clear the bases like that, it was, it was a good swing. He's a star in the making and, uh, you know, great kid to boot, so, so uh, you know, I'm really pulling for him and, and he's going to hit right in the middle of our lineup, you know, for, for the entire year or as long as we have him at least, uh, uh, but he's got a very bright feature, no doubt. Game two of the season opening three games set here in Akron is set for 7.05 p.m. on Friday night as the Seawolves take on the Rubber Ducks. Reporting from Canal Park in Akron, I'm Mike Fenner.